Question two is to compute volume by means of definite integration where areas of cross sections are given. Basically, these are the easiest of all problems because the area is given, you just have to find the volume. That is by integrating this at the given limits. That's it. Now, these can be directly done in the calculator. I'll show you now. All you need to know is the formula that is integral. This is the formula. Then area over here. What is the area? It's alpha x plus 2. What are the limits? It's from minus 1 to 3. This is the easiest of all. The area is 12 units squared. You can see that's the answer. Sorry, it's not unit square, it's unit cube because we are finding the volume. Same thing with the other one. Just press this over here. That's integral. Type in the equation 10 e to the power 0 0.01 alpha x. And then over here, the limit start with the lower limit. That's always the smaller value, 0 to 10. And that's the answer. Here, your answer is see, given as 1000 times e to the power 0 0.1 minus 1. That is 105. Let's see it. 1000 multiplied. So use the brackets over here. Sorry. Use brackets. Shift LAN gives you E 0 0.1 minus 1. Close the bracket. The answer is 0 105.17. It's the same answer. Similarly, please solve the others. Now here, please remember your exam answers won't be in like 78 or a single value. It might be like this. So how do you solve this? Just put this in the calculator and press SD. You will get the value. I will show you. Type the value over here as it is. All the answers you must do this. Press equal to and then press SD. This is the answer 58.64. When you use the calculator method, you will get a decimal form. So check which matches with the four options and whichever matches is the correct answer. That is the end of the question too.